heading for a showdown. Two teams who thrive on pressure and performing on the big occasion. Now they get their wish. Fans the world over are fully focused on this atmospheric stadium where the drama is about to be played out over the next 90 intriguing minutes. Who will prevail? Stay with us here on EA TV for every kick of the ball. Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the second group stage match here at Euro 2024 for the two teams. It's Denmark against England. Well, it's quite simple. If they play well, take their chances and win the game, they'll be through to the knockout stages. But of course, this is a tough match, and I'm sure they're going to be very nervous going into it. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen. Oh, he can score here, Barry. Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Trippier. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Nice looking pass. Will it be Harry Kane? Safe pair of hands. Did his job. for England. It didn't look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Score for Olsen. Trying his luck. Magnificent defending. Stones. Uegi. around him but they dealt with the threat first well they might be able to launch a counter-attack and the counter-attack came to nothing Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Vroon Larsson. 
and he could really get at the opposition. Chances on. Not over the woods yet. And the keeper to the rescue. Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top class save. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, he's gone into the book. He was late and he deserved the booking for that. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? circumstances good use of advantage by the referee Foden the defensive intervention there Sides on a yellow card. Possession lost, intercepted. so important moving the ball forward with purpose well it came to nothing in the end Harry Kane and defensive play to be applauded Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Big chance at that down. He should have put them in the 
driving seat there. to a close well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart well I thought he had a very good first 45 minutes he scored a good goal was a constant threat and looked dangerous whenever he was on the ball I'm sure he'd be the key player in the second half Let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And in the 1v1, Kane makes no mistake. He never really looked like missing, did he? What a goal that is. Sides. 
certainly one to enjoy. Making progress. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. How is he now? And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Mark Guehi. Trippier into the final 20 minutes. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Scott Olsen. Wasted ball, they might be in. The fans want to see a shot. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. Stones. Rice with it. Trippier. Esri Consa. Walker now. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. Can be troublesome. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their support.
quarters. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. Well, for neutrals, this is a joy. 5-5. Five, five. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. There's to be late excitement. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. He's blocked it. What can they do from this corner? A minute's ticking away in this game. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. As usual, Harry Kane, difficult to defend against. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.